At this point, um, performing is definitely out of the question. She's weak. Her muscles are cramping and she's not able to exert herself physically. So performing wise, it's out of the question. She has graced many stages, giving you that all-around experience, singing and performing with her dancers, and it hits hard right here at Channel 5 as she grew up performing on her shows. But Marlon Vanson's lifelong dream as a performer may have come to an end. This is because on January 8th, 2022, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. It started um, on the later half of November. Um, of course, we did not know what exactly it was right away. She started with symptoms of seizures. One day she uh, had half of her body just randomly being paralyzed. And that happened for like a minute. And then it happened again later on in the day and the day after that. And since then she's been having repeated episodes of these seizures. We basically got about four diagnoses and latest diagnosis was MS. When she did an MRI, they saw the lesions on her brain. Multiple sclerosis is a chronic disease that affects the central nervous system. It is when the immune system attacks nerve fibers and myelin sheathings in the brain and spinal cord. On average in Belize, there are four to five persons, primarily young women, diagnosed yearly with the condition. Neurologist Dr. John Sosa says that there are four types and that if it is not treated, it can lead to paralysis or even blindness. It's like a bad luck thing. It can happen to anyone um, between the age of 10 and 50 usually, um, but mostly to younger women on average age 23 years old. You have different types of multiple sclerosis. Or in a sense, we um, divide them. So you have what we call relapsing, remitting. We have what we call that you progress secondarily. You have a thing that we call you progress primarily or from the beginning and then you have where you get really, really sick and you call that fulminant. And then you have what we call variants, which are two. So the first type, you get sick, you get better, you get sick, you get better. And then with the second type, when you get sick, you stay sick, which means you stay with a paralysis or you stay blind or you stay weak on one side, like a stroke, different things can happen to you. We've been seeing all of these kinds, all of these kinds. Yes, I have patients with all types in Belize that we've seen. And unfortunately, we have some young patients, and it happens more in women than in men. It's much more, usually. And I have some young women who are totally damaged. They're blind, they're paralyzed, things like that. And they can't get fixed. Fortunately, in the case of Fanson, it was detected early before any permanent incapacitating effects. But it has been tough. She's unable to properly care for her one-year-old daughter, but the family has rounded her with support. Brother David Vanson, who produced the majority of her hit tracks and shares a close bond with Marlin, says it's been a roller coaster of emotions for everyone in the family. I try not to dwell on yesterday or tomorrow. I try to live in the moment. And so we have this problem in front of us and my first instinct is to let's make sure she's comfortable and let's make sure we search today. If I don't find an answer today, I'll find an answer tomorrow. I can't be weak for her in front of her. Of course, I have my moments where, you know, it hits me and I'm like, man, this, this world is crazy because she was fine last year and she was on stage last year just doing one of her best shows and then now it's just like there is no cure for multiple sclerosis and the treatment is expensive dr sosa breaks down that reality unfortunately the cost of managing multiple sclerosis is really really exorbitant really expensive and so some people don't get the treatment they need the type that we can treat is called relapsing remitting and the treatment is called interferon um, long term and the treatment for short term, when you get like a relapse or you get sick, that is a steroid, a special steroid that you give in the vein, which is also expensive. Wow. So the treatment long term is very much expensive. 
around 4,000 deliz or so per month for an injection that you get two to three times a week. She is on treatment for seizures at the moment. We've recently located a source for her medication. It's quite expensive. Um, so it's just to have her take the medication to be able to slow down the intensity and the growth and progression of this disease. We find that the medication is cheaper in our region, Mexico, Guatemala. So we found a source that we can actually, we are grateful that we could have bought the first box um, with donations from people since we've put out the news. Mm -hmm. People have been sending um, donations and we were, able, we were able to buy the first box. And um, so she'll be fine for the next six weeks and then we'll continue to raise funds. But David is hopeful that with support from her fans and people who want to help, Marlin will be able to continue making music at least. The music takes the stress away from her. From her. So writing, singing, producing, um, composing, all that stuff, that definitely will help her to take herself out of all of this because it's pretty overwhelming, I can imagine, for her. So I think the music will help her uh, one of the things about MS patients is that they can't be stressed. It just wears them out more. And so the music will definitely be a re remedy for her. And so we will continue to make music. We've actually recorded a song in the middle of all of this. Of course, the pace is a bit slower, but we managed to record an entire song. And I'll be putting, out, putting that out as soon as possible. Dwayne Moody for News 5.